totally change the look of your Android phone with MIUI ROM. Uh, I want to introduce MIUI ROM to you. Uh, some of you probably already are familiar with it, and a lot of you probably aren't. But as you can see, uh, this is an Android phone, but it doesn't look like an Android phone, which is uh, great for me. I totally hate the look of stock Android. It's uh, boring. Uh, the stock apps are horrible. I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, I love Android, but it just looks horrible. Uh, and the stock apps compared to Apple's are <laughs> terrible. But it's okay. Uh, as you can see, I fully tweaked my Android out using the MIUI ROM. Uh, complete with folders and names, uh, a custom menu bar, battery, uh, uh, app drawer. I even have drag and go. I'm not going to test that out for you right now. I'll save that for later. But uh, it's pretty easy to do, pretty easy to change. Uh, actually, the Mario that you see in the background is not a game, it's actually a wallpaper to enhance the look. Uh, but I'm going to show you real fast how easy it is to uh, change your system around, change the themes, and completely modify everything. So first what I'm going to do is go to the themes. And I already have a lot of themes already downloaded, as you can see. Uh, this is actually the one I'm using now in Lego. But there's tons of other themes that I can choose from if I get bored with this theme. Uh, so let's say, let's say I wanted to go to... Let's find something that I like. Let's say I wanted to go to this theme right here. Now this gives me the option to apply this full theme to my system, which it's, it looks like this. Uh, this is, shows you screenshots of everything the message app, uh, the dollar, uh, home screen, lock screen, but I'm not interested in all that, I just want the lock screen. So what I want to do is I want to uncheck everything, uh, framework status bar, and wallpaper, ringtone, I want to keep the lock screen, I want to keep the lock screen wallpaper as well, so everything else I'm going to uncheck and I'm going to apply that so that uh, applies successfully so I'm going to go back out of this and as you can see everything is still the same but when I cut off my, my, my screen and cut it back on I now have the custom lock screen that I want which is totally cool so can pretty much modify everything from uh, let's see what we got here we can modify the lock screen we can modify the home screen icons uh, we can change the status bar which is up top uh, we can even change the fonts hmm, that's a good one let me go ahead and change the font now since these guys uh, MIUI are I think oriental or Chinese or whatever a lot of this stuff is going to be in Chinese or uh, whatever language this is so if you actually want to see what the font looks like you just tap it and you want to scroll to the right to change the different font different fonts and to you pay to you see one you like mm, let's, I like that one so I'm gonna apply that one now So let's see if the font chain on. I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up notes. Hmm. Yep, it changed. So my system font is the one I just picked. Uh, I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't begin to tell you how, how decent this app is. It's like wonderful. Uh, I'm sorry, wrong. Hmm. Uh, it's completely wonderful. It changes the whole look of Android. Uh, 
it just gives you a lot of options to change every aspect of your system basically uh, for the most part your system does have to be rooted though and uh, with a custom recovery installed in order to flash this ROM but uh, Overall, the, the ROMs I've flashed over all the years I've been flashing, I believe this is probably the best one. It's probably the best one. So, from a long press to home screen, and you have options at the bottom to add little widgets or whatnot to the home screen. I didn't know so many apps had widgets, but let's say I wanted to add a Facebook uh, widget. So this is a Facebook widget. And if you want to delete it, long press it, drag it to the trash can. That's another wonderful thing about this, this ROM. If you want to delete an app, all you have to do is long press it and drag it up to the trash can. Unlike with the regular Android, you have to go into the, the applications menu and do it that way. Which can be a hassle at times. But, um, yeah, if you like the video, please rate, subscribe, and keep an eye out for more videos. Uh, I'll be posting more videos on different ROMs that I flash. So uh, keep an eye out. Alright, 